was with my dad at the Habitat for Humanity Restore in town, and we saw a sign that said, Habitat for Humanity Pennies for Homes campaign. And they were trying to raise $100,000 uh, to build a house for a low-income family in pennies. And my first step was I went right home and I wrote a letter to my principals. And my thought was that the school could raise 10 million pennies in a few months and then we'd bring it over to Habitat for Humanity and surprise them with a new house. And uh, obviously that wasn't, the, that wasn't how long it took. My mom told me that I had to get into the papers and the community started hearing about it. People came um, all around, kids with just a few pennies in their bags. Eventually I started getting into other schools and I'd talk to them and about the penny drive and people started donating not only pennies but bigger, you know, toonies and loonies and then bills and then checks. You know, it, it just got bigger in that way. Josh Morrison is one of those kids that every community wishes that they had. He is an inspiration to, to all of us, not just to kids like himself. Moreover, he is one of those kids that just is so driven and it's so wonderful to see somebody of his age be able to be so successful in, his, in what he sets out to do. I'm thrilled that Josh took us on as his uh, charity of choice. He's often said that uh, hard is not a synonym for impossible, and boy, did he ever prove that right. You reached your goal, buddy. You did a great job, and we're so, so thankful that you're a part of us. Josh is an incredible young man. Seeing him grow over these last five years, from an 11-year-old and all the skills that he's acquired and all the people that he's met, and he just seemed to have such a heart for the community and them for him. We're very proud of him, and uh, not necessarily for the goal of, of this big goal that he made, um, but the determination to see it through. And it didn't matter if it was going to take him four years or ten years. He was undeterred, and uh, he knew he was going to finish it. So I'm very proud of that. I was just able to help this summer a bit since I just turned 16 in June. And it was so exciting to be able to go and stand on the ladder and, and nail. And I'm hoping to build the penny house when it happens. And I'd like to you know, have all my friends there and, and build this house that we've been theoretically building for all these years, uh, which would be pretty exciting to see our work go into solid form. Josh comes from a wonderful family, from his parents to his siblings. They're always involved in the community. It doesn't matter what the situation is in Uxbridge. If somebody is in need, Josh, his parents, and his siblings are always there front and center. And I want to say a huge congratulations to a very special member of our community. Well, I'd like to thank uh, Habitat for Humanity Durham for nominating me for this award, and also AFP for giving me this award. It makes me realize what I did really does make an impact and maybe inspire other youth as well. So I really do appreciate this amazing award. Thank you.